Right, solo vigil in the forest. Down here. If I see anything, I'm gonna absolutely shit myself. And on the old, oh, if there's any spirit, say something. Fuck, what was that? They took Peggy Mitchell from me. It's about minus five right now. It's absolutely freezing. And we each have a budget of just a hundred quid. My sleeping bag's gonna be this. I've just tried to stop water coming in my fucking tent. I need to learn how you take a shit in the woods. Can you see, I'm a size eight and he's a size 11 or 12. What we've come to realise, trying to camp on £100, is, I mean, I, I bought cutlery for 3 99 No food. Didn't have any food, but I'm actually a bit concerned, because that is basically the core. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, nice. <laughs>Okay, so what we've got going on is we've decided to do another budget challenge. This challenge is surviving in the forest. It's about minus five right now. It's absolutely freezing and we each have a budget of just a hundred quid. was my job to scope out a camping place ahead of time couldn't be asked so <laughs> we uh, took ages driving around to find a location that's on me and now we're taking ages walking around to find somewhere to camp that's also on me
I might yeah. shack up Spot the tent. The yeah. Call it a day. Spot for me. Good yeah, we'll make some camouflage. I'll camouflage that bit up. There's a dog shit. That's <sighs> Kick it out. So it's dog shit? Yeah, it's dog shit everywhere, mate. Is it? No. Is it? No, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fucking two hours we've been walking. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, it might be, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, warrior. Deep in the woods. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I need four. Do I? So I can make a canopy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be serious. Um, <laughs> I think I'll go here. Right. I think I'm all right here. Yeah. I just. That dog shit. Right near your foot, Ben. Don't go backwards. Nah, this is perfect, lads. Yeah. This is home. Yeah. Do another like a montage. <laughs> the magic. Yeah. The magic of a pop-up tent. You ready? <laughs> yes, it worked. This is fucking duty cam. Love nice. it. Little oh. shots. Very Blair Witch, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, I just want to great. throw it out there. It's very, uh, it's very like you know, you get slaughtered in a forest. Yeah, it's very. <laughs> if I was to be slaughtered in any forest, it would be, be this it'd one. Be this one. <laughs> <laughs> and it would be with you guys. Right, you ready? Here we right, go. Let's let's have a look at this. Oh, sir. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's pretty jacked. Get, get a good close up of that shit in Go a minute, then. No, no, nice. They're hard to land, aren't they? Yeah. 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 Ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's on the side as well. <laughs> nice. Ooh. We're wow. done. Need the crumpets, yeah? Where's the, where's the crumpets, mate? Just fucking wipes love out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right. Erect. And we'll see that. We're good to go. Who Sorry, would ever buy anything other lens. than a pop up? This is going to be great, isn't it? Oh, fuck. I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I think I've instantly got shit on my hands. <laughs> Yeah, that's. It's not dog shit though. It's like <laughs> fox <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? Fox shit. Not the worst thing. Did he eat fox shit? Uh, I think yeah, yeah. Like there's a nut. He ate something that was in shit, maybe bear shit or something. And there was a nut in it, and he was. Like, it's gone from a fox shit to a bear grill was eating a fucking bear shit. Yeah. yeah. Bear shit. Bear. I'm a bit hot. Yeah. So, yeah, so <laughs> I'm a bit toasty. I'm taking my fucking coat off and everything. <laughs> later, <laughs> four hours later. <laughs> Anyone reception? Uh, reception. It's good. Good. On oh, the fucking phones. There we go. Lovely. I don't think I will. Nah, I'm off the grid. Off the grid. My sleeping bag's gonna be this. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a bit. 
Finn, <laughs> put it back up to the camera. It's the size of a MacBook. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be, you know, fold out in something that pretty decent. Break. If that doesn't, that's what? like a fucking. Uh, <laughs> My socks napkin. Are in the oh, hello. What have we got there? Um, I don't want to rip it. That's it's that your thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this, this is the Sainsbury's bag. Oh, yes. That's right. <laughs> it's got four on the inside, I hope. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Look, look. It literally is a crisp packet. <laughs> Hilarious. That'll be alright, that'll be fine. No worries. You're gonna die. <laughs> I did say I was bringing, the, bringing stuff for a one way trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's absolutely no way. How'd you get in it? I thought there was gonna be a zip on it at least, I'm not gonna lie. The only way I could think of getting that is if you go in there first. I'll fucking die that way. <laughs> you, look like a, you look like a kid's blue. Three days after it. Three, three days after the kid's birthday. <laughs> Mate. It is a crisp packet, isn't it? Are you warm, lads? Are you too hot? I'm actually pretty toasty in here, not gonna lie. You didn't even need a tent. <laughs> Just stand here all night, shall we? <laughs> Bottom. <laughs> Imagine if you went walking through the forest on the night and that was there. It's just needs to lean against the tree. What are those things called? I've been a bit carried away. Monolith. <laughs> 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 it's a camo design. It's the camo design that's already sold that to me. No messing about, no frills. Look at that, brilliant. <laughs> uh, so it turns out that a double mattress might be a touch too big for my tent. So, that's great. <laughs> it's actually really cozy. It's just a good thing I ain't got claustrophobia, fucking hell. How much was your seat? Oh, yeah, no. Uh, about 12 quid. Yeah, Three. Yeah. Twelve quid for that. Nothing. Look at that. That's the uh, That looks quality actually. Uh, I'm happy with it. That's decent. You know what I mean? You, you go to IKEA. You're wasting your money. Kids, if you're out there, join the Scouts because if you ever find yourself in this situation, you're fucked about it. What do you know about fires then? Literally, fuck all. It's on glass in the state kind of essential for survival in these conditions as well. We're fucked. Go on lad, that's the way. That's a real man. So we're all set up. We've got a fire going. And uh, this, due to budget limitations, is my seat, which is a pound uh, turp. But I have to say, with how mossy and soft the floor is, I think I'm onto a winner, to be honest. Lovely. Might even sleep here tonight. Mm. I'm on firewood duties. Uh, all of this has been collected by me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't think they're taking it as serious as I am. Yeah. Uh, you know, people people die in the wild. And I'm going to survive. I'm a survivor, you're, mate. You're here to protect them. I'm here. I'm yeah. You're I'm the like, marshal. Yeah, I'm the protector of the realm. Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> so this is <laughs> I think being out in the in the forest has got me going a bit weird. Uh, could say you're an animal. Yeah. I'm I'm saying like I'm going. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got my went and collected my, my seat earlier, my log. Yeah, let's give that a look. There we go, I've got my log, so I've got my seat. Look at the iron sheet. Solid. Uh, I imagine the lads are gonna put it in the fire later. <laughs> <laughs> for a bit of banter. <laughs> 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 Won't surprise me. Uh, but yeah. Good. I should have saved that with some data when we need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could, have we put it all on? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. more for aesthetic purposes. Stick some rum on it. Put it out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lozzy and this is my fucking camp. Let's go. <laughs> right, first off, seating arrangements. All right, may look a bit slim, but it's done me well so far. My seat, apparently, according to this, was 10 quid. 10 quid. So, is it? Yeah. Where's it what? from? That's from Amazon, I think. Did you learn a pattern on it? Not natural camo. Hello. Come over to my walk-in wardrobe. <laughs> right, at the moment I've just got that on there which isn't actually a bit of clothing, but that's where the tent was. Ten? I think we've all gone for the same tent, so I'm not gonna, you know, make anyone surprised, but that's 15 quid from Argos. Banging. Right. It's not that great opening though. Bit of shit. This is it. That's my sleeping bag. That's essentially a crisp packet. How much was that? That was. Let's have a look here. Sleeping bag, four ninety nine. Four ninety four ninety nine. Look, a load of space. I mean. <laughs> it's great. Honestly, I'm not trying to sell it to anyone, but I feel it feels up. Isn't that the uh, what Terry Shop for Orange is wrapped in? <laughs> ben, I fucking two foot your fucking camera, you can. Essential. Sleeping pillow. The flavour pillow, rather. Sleeping pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Quid, Tesco, stunned, sorted. Water. Now, this is tap water, so that's free. Is that all right, Ben? <laughs> Where did you get the bottle from? <laughs> Where do I get the bottle from? They're all bottles. Okay. All right. That's it. Ah, jumper. This is quality, yeah? It's massive. I've got the tag on it. Yeah, it's three quid, because I thought Ben was going to be like a Nazi about it and make us prove everything. Three quid. Banging. The knees are going to be a godsend, right? Hand warmers, quid, Tesco's. I ain't got gloves, so <laughs> they're my gloves. You didn't bring gloves? Nah. No, I ain't got a mattress either, so 
That's about it. And I did forget my Pringles at home, which were a quid. I'd say, quality brand. I'm not having any fucking debate in the comments. 18 quid. Yeah, trousers. My trousers or my jeans, these were 13. 12 99 Quad round up there. My coat, 17 quid. Again, rounded up from 16 99 God, I'm so losing money here. Eh? What? Canada nah, it's like a fake one. Oh, Canada Swap. <laughs> so it's not it's not even anywhere near the quality of Canada Goose. I'm, I'm no vegans don't come at me. It's, it's not polyester really. What else? My shirt, it's 4 99 Five quid from Boohoo Man. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out. <laughs> my jumper was three quid. My socks were two quid. Look at that, it's black with a bit of purple on. Accent, did forget one thing in mind. Oh, this is genius. Not, not considering I ain't got any food to eat, but fold up cutlery. <laughs> fold up cutlery <laughs> and all you bought was Pringles? Yeah. <laughs> no, I would have smashed the Pringles up and eaten with a spoon though, to make <laughs> use of it. How much was that lost? Three ninety nine. dollars <laughs> oh, Banging, isn't it? Um, that's it. So I don't even know what that adds up to. Ben, ben will add it, yeah. Right? That'll probably be over 100 quid now because you'll probably fiddle the figures, wouldn't you? I know what you're like, mate. I don't trust the state. That's Thank you. Welcome to my home. So we'll go with my tent first. Tent, 15 pounds from Argus. Summer sleeping bag, £12.50 from Argus. Inner gloves, a pound. Outer gloves, a fiver. And charity shop hat, £2. Charity shop fleece. Sandra's fleece. <laughs> How much was the fleece? Sandra alone. <laughs> Four quid. <laughs> Dunlop outer jacket, waterproof. Four pounds. How much? Four pounds for quid. that. Yeah. Eighteen pounds. Uh, shout 18 out to him. Quid. Eighteen quid. That's where the budget went. Yeah. Waterproof. Uh, jumper was. Hello. Jumper was. Uh, I think it's six quid. Nice. Yeah. Let these go. these two were from the same place. Shoes I struggled with, to be honest. So I've got a pair of trainers. I don't know what I don't know what mate they are. What make of these, Ben? Authentic. <laughs> they're just good authentic. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're legit. See, I'm a size 8 and these are size 11 or 12. So yeah. <laughs> I just thought two so pairs of socks. Oh, here's my bag, yeah. So I didn't have any budget left for the bag. So I took this free. Kind of. What did you have for free? The pain shop. Yes. <laughs> but I got a feeling it might have been pain. <laughs> but I was like, it's a bag, innit? And it says free bag. I was like, yep. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. So I had that. Baby wipes. Baby wipes. I got these from B and M, so these are like these are about sixty p. <laughs> wool. Wool. Pound. I thought if we're if we're gonna make like a spit roast thing, oh, have to right. tie it together. Kindling. My suit. <laughs> fifty p. Fifty p. <laughs> well, I might have to give Lozzy some for a pound. 50p. <laughs> we got my suit. <laughs> 50p. This is the bargain. Four bottles of water. 29p. 29 pence for four bottles. Pound. I think maybe yeah, I'll chop it. Chocolate. We just need some water because we've only got lemon water, so I might have to do, have to do some trading. Yeah, my saw. How much was the saw? Pound. A pound. One pound saw. So. Nice. And the lads don't know about this, but oh, a little selection box. Nice. For tomorrow morning. Burning. Burning. Yeah. So I just found my mug. What a mug. One pound, 
in the pan shop. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. Double walled. And that's me. That's actually taken off and then. <laughs> that burns and rises. <laughs> and oh shit. It comes back down. Cool. Yeah. Brilliant. So you want did you, <laughs> under 100 or? Yeah. Yeah. My name's Jordan. And this is my camping experience. Uh, we'll go through the clothes first. So I've got fleece. Uh, this cost me £13 from the it's a camping shop like warehouse something I don't know um, it's actually really warm uh, I've got some gloves they have uh, finger and thumb bits for your smartphone but there's no signal out here so that was a waste of time uh, but these were how much were these these were a fiver and I, I was a bit gutted so I got these last minute and I could have got some different ones for like three quid um, <clears throat> right so the trousers uh, so I bought jeans for a fiver tried them on last night they're a bit tight a bit chafy uh, so I put on some non-branded uh, joggers instead just to get me through uh, the, the the camping experience <clears throat> now the shoes now I don't want to cause any heat in the camp I found a loophole for the shoes oh, yeah. so what I did was my girlfriend needed some some camping shoes so i gifted her my shoes and it turns out she's not size 11. so she sold them she <laughs> not size 11. Yeah. hang on let me have a nibble <laughs> she's not size 11. So, wow that's that's a fucking turn up yeah so i bought them back off her for a fiver uh, yeah, so, that's right. So oh. that's my boots. Uh, right, so we've got a couple of tarps. They're a pound each. And this is actually doubled up as my seat. We've got a tent, which is 15 quid like everyone else's. Uh, I've got a double mattress, because that is all that fucking Tesco had left. <laughs> Shout out Tesco. Uh, so it's a bit crammed in there. That was 18 quid. Um, and then that jumper was eight quid. The pillow was three pounds. Uh, I got a couple of meal deals, so they were three pounds each. Uh, these these were two bags for. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make that joke later. <laughs> What's your go-to meal deal, boy? <laughs> uh, we got these in two bags for for two quid, but I've only got one, so technically that's a quid. Uh, and Space Raiders eight packs for a quid. Uh, I got some rope for when we uh, tie up Ben later. Uh, and and yeah, that's about it, um, I think. Yeah, that's that's me done. And I did it with about a tenner to spare, I think. So that's, that's fucking quality. There we go, cheers. Right, welcome to Camp Gym. So we'll start off with this Coca-Cola hat, three pounds. Um, I also might turn it into a balaclava later on, if need be. It's got it's got the length. Um, so it's a really good hat. I'm liking it. I'm liking the whole Home Alone look. Uh, we'll next go on to the jacket, which was ten pounds. Uh, this is an animal jacket. It's a proper proper ski jacket. It's got a headphone. Uh, I haven't got no headphones, but if I did want to bring some headphones. Yeah, it's got a headphone jack. It's got an inside pocket. Uh, for things like this. I bought a hip flask. How much me. was that? This was, I think it was two pounds. Um, yeah, the fl hip flask was two pound. Um, and I filled it up with uh, some Dead Man's Fingers rum, which we all know was, was free. Premium. Premium stuff. Uh, so we've got that for later on when it gets a bit chilly. So for under, I've gone for the uh the ray mears look uh you know i can be camo this is you know this is you can't really start a fire if you're not wearing this color so this cool. color match you know just the fire won't start this was four quid the top and the bottoms were six quid um i'm not gonna lie they're very flary at the bottom and with flare get a lot of air coming up so what I've decided to do is tuck them in tuck them into my socks which were two pounds and then we go down to 
my walking boots. Now, I'm not gonna lie, they are women's. Uh, in, uh, in Go Outdoors, there was a Black Friday deal and all the, the, the men's sizes, size eights were gone. So I thought, on my toes, I thought, you know, how many size eight women are going to be in black, you know, in go outdoors? So, got, you know, size eight women's, very comfortable. Might, might wear women's trainers more often, to be honest with you. Very lightweight. Right then, we'll go into the camp now. Um, I've got my water. Uh, you know, you need your water to survive. <laughs> <laughs> my water was 69p for six bottles. Absolute fucking bargain. This is a little cutlery set I got from Poundland. That was a quid. I got my torch from uh, Go Outdoors. That was one pound 80. Uh, I've got, I stole this from the hotel earlier on. Um, so that was free. So we've got a cup of tea for later on if I can heat the water. We've got matches, which were a quid. From GoPro, not GoPro, from Co Co op. <laughs> yeah, I'm sponsored by GoPro from the Co op. Um, pot noodle, quid, Co op. Tomato soup, quid, Co op. Uh, bread was a pound from Poundland. Uh, I'm going to heat up my soup in my pan, which was from Poundland, but it was actually five pounds. So, Fucking hell, I've done your five times over. Yeah, I didn't know that they sold stuff in Poundland that was over a quid, so I actually oh. thought I got a bargain for a second. I don't know if that'll work. I've got some string to hold my pan up above the fire later on. I will show you how that's done. <laughs> uh, this was a quid from Poundland, obviously. Um, oh, here we go. I feel like it's raining, but it doesn't matter if it's raining. I've got my fucking Twix, all right? Twix Extra, because they're the best ones. Two for £1.50, co-op or go price. I've got the lads some playing cards later on. Oh, yeah, so we can have you know a little game of strip, po uh, have a game of uh, poker. Uh, so they're a pound for the playing cards. I've got my Slazenger, Slazenger bag, three pound for my Slazenger bag. It's, High quality, it's got good padding. <laughs> good padding. Uh, it's also got a reflective light, so you know if you get lost in the woods later, the lads will be able to hunt me down. <laughs> got this foot pump, which was four pounds. I think it was four pounds. And obviously I bought the foot pump because I've got the blow up bed, which was a fiver. Absolute bargain. Single, fits, fits right in the tent. Unlike some people. Uh, I've got this blanket, three pounds from a charity shop. This fleece, five pounds. Hot water bottle for later on. This was two pounds. My gloves, three pound fifty for my Navika. Look at Navika gloves, very warm, fleece insulation, uh, waterproof. I mean, these will get you through the winter. Uh, then I got my sleeping bag, which was two pound fifty from a charity shop. Now it is very nineteen eighties ski slope, uh, but it's like I say, it's quality pattern. I haven't washed it, uh, so yeah, it's a bit funky, but we'll be all right. I think that's everything. Cool. Cheers, guys. Hopefully, I fucking get through the evening, and uh, yeah. Here we go. No, missed it. That's <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> Let's go so late. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to Let's have a go. Oh. Right, let's miss the tree completely, yeah? <laughs> and then take out the camera. So scared. Yeah. Uh, so fuck that. <laughs> We're gonna perfect it. Someone's gonna get it. We're gonna get it. <laughs> Dan's just giving out biscuits. <laughs> and that, how long has that got to last you? Well, it's got to last me the entire night and tomorrow, <laughs> basically. And 
So I'm going to nibble at this every like 20 minutes. About the 20 minutes worth. I'll put it away. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no. What's that? If it gets foggy in here tonight, I look fucking sick. Me and Dan fancy making a hot drink. So we've got a little fire going, we've got the pan lodged in, trying to heat up the water. I haven't got a cup, so I'm gonna saw open. I've got my cup. I mean, one thing I was worried about would be running out of water. Yeah. Not anymore. Like I say, there's a lot of bits in there. So I said I was going to filter it out with my hands, but it's, it's boiling hot water, isn't it? So. I'll tell you what, you probably use the use the top of the, the thingy. Oh man. Hook. Yeah, that's it. It's garlic. Garlic. Not the same. More? There's a lot of bits in here, but nothing that's going to give me any kind of disease. So we've got a cup of tea. There is a few bits in there. You might, you might see. There's a couple of, <laughs> a couple of floaters, but. Couple of little floaty bits in there, but you know when you're camping, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Camping, eating bits. That might have just been a bit of excess spillage, though. Oh, spit up. Too hot, if anything. In a basin. Like this best. Got my Twix. Lozzies. I'm a happy man. Lozzy's round of fucking face. Nice, oh, there's bits in there. But to survive, you've got to do what you've got to do, ain't you? It's true. Survive all, and all about survival. Oh, that's a good trip. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the biscuit kid. Are you got any biscuit left? Did you just nibble in biscuit in there? Oh, that's nice. What's he doing in there anyway? I just want to welcome you to my uh, OnlyFans account, my channel. I'm going to be doing lots of sexy shit. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing actually, but yeah, OnlyFans. At my OnlyFans. Let us know if you want it. Comment down below. Um, Only fans, Atma. That's that's catchy. I like that. Anyway, uh, thanks to Road for not sponsoring the pod. Um, tell you a little secret. I forgot to push the actual plug into the camera to actually form sound. So that was great. So this means it's the second time I'm recording this. But fuck it. I've got my phone, which is going to be essential for absolutely fuck all, because I've got no signal. Uh, it's basically going to be my watch. It's an 800 quid watch there. In budget. Right. Now, this is the, uh, the pillow I've got. It's an inflatable one, obviously. Um, not going to lie. This is probably not going to improve my sleeping... Uh, arrangement tonight it's probably not going to get used at all I might even put it on top of my seat so it's a bit more comfortable but there we go and the reason why I don't think I'm going to sleep brilliantly tonight is basically my fault um, this is my sleeping bag it is a crisp packet um, Gary Lineker's around the corner it was cheap that's why I got it. 
I thought it was a bit more substantial in the picture. Um, they did make it look a bit more substantial in the picture, which I'm a bit pissed off about. But what can you do about it? It is literally that thin. That is the that is the thickness of it. This is the sort of thing you get like wrapped around you after you've just been like witness a stabbing or something in, on a cold night. That's the one. Um, yeah, so I don't think I'm going to be sleeping that well tonight. Um, but it's alright, because I've got some fat lines to do with Ketamine, which will take me down. Got enough, I've got enough here to uh, take down an elephant. What is this? Now, I've just found this in the, in the box for the road mic. Um, you may not know already, but I ain't got any food for today. Or, or tomorrow. Um, I've got water, two bottles of tap water, which is basically your own piss. Um, so yeah, this is looking quite appealing because uh, it, it says plastered all over it. Do not eat. Do not eat. But you know, if times become that difficult, it will be going down my throat. So. Have that to look forward to. Also, if you are interested in the OnlyFans, let us know what sort of stuff you like to see on there. Bit of, you know, n nothing dirty, all right? Maybe something dirty, don't know. <laughs> Let, keep it PG in the comments, all right? That's it. I'll tell you what, if this, if this ain't recorded and I've fucking done something wrong again, I will hang myself because Jordan br brought like 20 metres of rope. I don't know why. Maybe this is the way he wants to go. Or maybe he's doing a his best Logan Paul impression. But there we go. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you in a bit once I'm either starving and dead or alive and wishing I was dead because I can't sleep. So there we go. I've got two cameras on me, look. It feels like porn. Get the angles. I'll just try to stop water coming in my fucking tent because I don't want to keep the door open because otherwise it would. So, on the way into camp, we uh, we spotted some some like big logs that have already been cut down from trees before. Uh, so we were thinking, as Jordan's got his axe, what we might be able to do is like a proper what do they call them? Them fucking axe people? Lumberjack. Like a proper lumberjack hit the top of the log and break the log into firewood I mean it's a big ask but you know if uh, one of us has got the strength to break the logs then it's going to be a warm evening in the camp We found the log. So all Jordan needs to do is Oh shit. <laughs> hit the Yes. Hit the log and, and it breaks his firewood. So uh yeah that's mission failed.
sorry you can't see me very well. I'm currently on firewood duty. I'm out on the hunt for some dry, some dry wood. It's just a, a local with an ax. <laughs> They're uh, struggling at the moment to find some dry wood to help get the fire going. So, like I say, we have got a makeshift fire going at the moment. So we want to find the driest bits of wood we can and then put that around the fire so that we can keep not keep, so that we can dry out the, the more wet wood that we can find. So I'm just on the hunt at the moment, hoping I come across a bundle of, uh, a bundle of dry wood somewhere. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much, a lot of the, it's very wet in here. Um, I'm actually starting to get wet boots, wet feet, which isn't good. See, very wet wood or damp wood. It's just not very dry, maybe underneath. It's the thing when you go through this forest as well, you do have to be very careful that you don't get lost. Which I'm not doing, to be honest with you. Incredibly spooky forest, this fetid forest. Uh, it's all man made. All the trees, as you can see, were planted in a row. I say it gives a cool visual, but you see someone at the end of it holding an axe. Good. Could have been a good bit. Not sure how damp that is. It looks pretty damp. Let's see if we can head back to camp. I think it could be a cold evening. Temperature is dropping now as well. What was me talking about getting lost earlier. Ugh. I actually don't know where the camp is. Oh, there we go. Looks like the boys at the end of here. Best thing to do is just get as many logs as we can around the fire that we've got going and try and dry them out. So maybe thinner, some thinner bits of wood that dry out quicker might be a good idea. Or am I just talking absolute bollocks? I think I am. Head our way back into camp now. We've been working hard to upgrade the fire, and I have to say, boys, we fucking smashed it. Um, it's a banging fire. Oh, here we go. I wasn't going to say, we don't actually know where Jimmy is, um, but he has returned. He's just been recording himself. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. Got himself another biscuit. That's it. Go. Second one today. Thank you. I'm cool, bro. Cheers. Nailed the fire. Oh, even the uh, bark now is... Oh, the bark's... Yeah, brilliant. Getting rid of that water. Mm. Nice, lads. I mean, I've, I've got a stick. <laughs> Been gone for four hours. And I've got a nice, wa nice wet stick. <laughs> right, lads, we're going to play a little game. And it's uh, kind of like deal or no deal and Russian roulette combo. We all get a roll each, and there's maybe something useful in each one. And there's one red herring. Right, so I know, obviously I know what's in the box, but I don't know what's in each box. Um, so I'll go first. Right. And then I have to keep my box, but then you roll a dice, pass it on, get a box, but then you've got the option to change your box. Okay. So there'll be spare boxes. The two boxes left over are going to go on the fire. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll go first. Number five. Right. Let's give the number five. There you go. Here we go. Sweet. After if you get five, just dice. Oh, <laughs> <what>? <laughs> sorry, my bad. Yeah, dice. Here we go. 
Six. Six. <laughs> Number one. Number one. Nice. So, number four. Number four. So we're well, that's, your, well okay, that was that's, perfect. That was the best way I could have gone. Went. Okay. Right, so what happens now? So you go first. Yeah. So you, you, you can either swap. With one of those. With one of those or keep, you keep the one you got. I'm going to keep number six. You can keep it. Yeah. So I'm going to swap number two. Swap oh. number two. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's incredibly light. <laughs> Shit, what are you going to do? Well, I'm shaking it. It sounds a bit liquidy. Yeah. And I've got a lot of water. Anyway. I don't need liquid. So <laughs> neither does I think the fire. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to swap it for what Lozzie put down. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's probably best in the absolute drama. Love to see it. What are you doing, right. Dan? You keeping yours? Um. I mean, I shouldn't really, I shouldn't really wait. Cause... I'll keep mine. Okay. okay. So three and one are going on the fire. <laughs> Obviously, we've got stuff for the fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, so. Kindling, got kindling. Yes. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. There you go, mate. What does that say? Mini mouth. Mini mouth. <laughs> Actually quite. That's excellent. Quite nice. What? It's a rifle. <laughs> I've got some, got some <laughs> aftershave. <laughs> That's called Jake. <laughs> <laughs> and that, mate, that was a pain. Was it? I had a fuck you, mate. Oh, that was a pain. I hope it's flammable. So I'm glad that thing on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Fucking Shinobi. <laughs> I do, do want to smell it. Uh, what you got, Lars? Tell me. No, oh, what have you got? Minstrels. Oh, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I was fucking right, and some tissue paper. Hey. Hey. That's good. Yeah. It was, it was girthy, wherever it was. What you got? Oh, it's a bit too bad. Oh, that. Yeah, I might. think, let's, I think Should let's, open let's it? make oh, a reveal. <laughs> People, we'll mate, yeah, someone's yeah. saying, oh, they're like, please, I want to know what's in A stick of C4. Well, how are we doing for that? I'm fine. <laughs> Yeah, that was oh, 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 latte. Oh, 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 sorry, mate. Oh, on the fire. <laughs> was that what? Was that what I put down? Uh, that was number three. No, I got number one, didn't I? Oh. Liquid, and I got a can of coke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We won't put that on the spot. Uh, I, I think I come off the best with a fucking J. Let's have a, let's have a smell. <laughs> Just smell me. Smell me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, How did I make that for a pound? Now we got a oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh, oh, just shit. rolls into a tent. Uh, <laughs> Whose t-shirt? Oh, I use it for um, to wax my shoes. quickly dwindled and we've only got a couple of uh, bags of kindling it's and uh, so we we're starting to get worried it's very damp and we need a dry wood oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously we came to the conclusion millipede, it might be wet on the outside but on the inside you've got beautiful dry wood which leads to a fire like that and it just turns out that Jimmy's a natural at lumberjacking so or tree surgeons, as they're now called. Not quite as cool a name. But there we go. Well, in my absence, I'll be surely missing you. I've been working. 
working every day And I sure hope your love is too I never give you cause to doubt me Hope you always think about me And if you think I will find another It ain't true Keep the home fire burning while I'm gone I'll be back to fan the flame It won't be long Just a while Then I'm back where I belong Keep the home fire burning while I'm Trouble, mm, you know what to do. I know you take care of yourself. There's a box of 22, and my pistol's always loaded. And another in the sock drawer, just in case they think I'm gone. So I've managed to create a fucking fire at last. We're all warm. We're all, Very warm. We're all fed. You know, we questioned whether we could survive in the wild. About an hour ago, I would have said no. Yeah, I was, I was worried. <laughs> so, but now, uh, yeah, fucking bring, bring on a snowstorm, mate. <laughs> Solo vigil in the forest. It's Jimmy, your boy. I'm fucking on my own. I'm shitting myself already. Right, so solo vigil time. In what is apparently a haunted forest. I'm led to believe. I have to say, look, you know me, yeah? Skeptical. Right? I think it's healthy to have scepticism with this stuff, right? I'm not saying it's bullshit. What I am saying is... So, been asked to um, do a, what they call a solo vigil. Um, doing a solo vigil, um, as far as I can tell, includes 
many spouts of bullshit. So I'll have to say, ah, oh, if there's anyone here, make a noise, all that bullshit. But let's go actually find something a bit deeper. Down here. Uh, okay, okay. So, walking this way. I'm actually <coughs> petrified of fucking going out on my own. So this for me is pretty scary. So if we see some fucking eyes lit up. I'm going to shit myself. It's really a great experience doing this. Why the fuck are we doing this? Cool, this is... It's fucking bright, isn't it? I'm not saying it's complete bullshit, right? I'm happy... Oh, fuck me, fell over. Happy to be proved wrong. Of course I am. What happened to Daring Woods? I don't know if there's any ghosty and ghoulies around here, but Daring Woods is apparently the most haunted. I can't try to get a good light. Daring Woods is apparently the most haunted forest in the country. So, you know, and, and we saw nothing when it came to Daring Woods. So, all I'm going to say is, you've got a lot to live up to, Thetford, you know? Been to the best. And I was disappointed. Just, I mean, look, if I take the torch away, it's absolutely pitch black. I... The thing is, when I shine the torch on my fucking face, I can't see what's in front of me, so this might be a, a facing forward video, guys. I'm now going to try and communicate with any ghosts that may be present. So, I mean you no know, harm. My name is Jordan. I go by Doody Rhino on YouTube. I know it's a bit strange, especially if you're maybe from the 18th century or something. I don't know. You know, you don't know where these ghosts are from. If there's any spirits or ghosts or ghouls or dickheads who have passed into the uh, the realm of the dead who want to contact me for some reason. A uh, co-host on a podcast that currently has 3.4 thousand subscribers on YouTube. I know, significant. If you are out there, give us a sign. Say something. You know, subscribe first. That's probably the first thing you should do. Subscribe. And yeah, Give me a few seconds. If you're out there, just communicate with me. Just give me a little sign. Tell me something. Well, tap me on the shoulder. That's a nice one. Or knock on a knock on a tree. I don't want to say too much because I want to be quiet so that I can hear anything around me and my mind is starting to play tricks on me. So when we're walking back, is when I'm just gonna start to get really scared because I don't know what the fuck's behind me. You know what I'm saying? No? Don't fancy it? Well, hell, can you make yourself known? Show me your face. Let me see you, come on. Might try a little Ouija board or something in a bit. See if we can communicate with you that way. How does that, how does that sound? Shit all. This, the, what, this is the thing, right? They've got all this power that they get from being part of the, the realm of the dead. So they can move shit without touching it, telekinesis, all that fucking bullshit. 
he gave me an opportunity and they suddenly go silent. It's funny that, isn't it? It's funny that. I don't want to keep my eyes on the fucking prize right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in the comments, do you believe in ghosts? Yes or no? Do let us know. Hit that like button as well. Subscribe, share the podcast. 2021, we're going to try and break the boundaries on what a podcast is, all right? And I want you to be along with us, okay? Say something. And subscribe. Do loads of conspiracy-based stuff. I don't know if you like conspiracy-based stuff. Do ghost stuff. I mean, you're letting your side down right now, to be honest, on the ghost stuff, but we do it. <laughs> Fuck, what is that? If I see anything, I'm gonna absolutely shit myself. Oh fuck, I just scared the shit out of myself. Three minutes on here, I think. Fucking hell. Going on the old. Oh, sh right. Oh, fuck off. That was a little snap of a tree, that's not pleasant. That's not pleasant at all, is it? When you're out by yourself, there's a snap of a tree. In the forest. A little bit nervous now, what the fuck is that? Myself now, guys. I'm not really a believer of ghosts and that, but I am a believer of fucking axe murderers. I do not want to go that way. It's fucking creepy as fuck out here. Shit. Can't remember. The oh, what was that behind? Something there. Fuck that. Right. I, I'll give him one more go. One more. You get one more chance, all right? Say something. One more time. Obviously, get the branding in. You know what I mean? Get your, get your beanies that aren't available yet, but they surely will be at some point. And obviously we'll be in, oh, it's a branch, 2021 at this point, when you see this. It's just me and nature as one. Go on, you know you want it. This is your time, this is your moment. Fucked it, fucked it, absolutely fucked it. So we're going back, I've had enough of this bullshit. It's a tree, it's a tree, thank fuck for that. Oh, fuck off, boys, I can see you, you fucking cunts. Fuck it hell. I just shat myself. I would say, do you know what made me shit myself even more? Was the fact that you didn't fucking answer me initially. I was like, please be the boys. Oh wait, I did I only just heard you then. Fuck it hell. So yeah. That was the vigil. Majorly disappointing. I don't know why I expected anything else, to be honest. Silent bunch, these uh, ghosts and ghouls, didn't they? All these uh, spirits of the dead. It's just fucking silent. What's the point? If you're dead, you might as well say something. Now I'm getting fucking abused because of my walk. 
more abuse than I got from the ghosts. <laughs> Fucking pricks. <laughs> right. That's mine done. Surviving is literally 90% fire, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got this. You're gonna. Oh, you're gonna survive. That's why I. Asked. We've literally sat here for three hours <laughs> staring at it. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean. Amazing. Yeah. Considering we fucking sit in a room and talk for hours. <laughs> we're sat here in silence. Just sat here and stared at the fucking fire. It's a fire in the chair that can get you in. The thing is, I haven't even thought about anything either. It's not nah. like I'm sitting there thinking like... <laughs> it's like we're yeah. moths. Yeah, you know, like sometimes... I'm just keep thinking about the fire. Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. My mind is vacant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smoked. It just grunts. Fuck it, though. Fuck out! He's addicted. I think he's like getting anxiety issues and he's getting depressed because he's been at the fire too long. <laughs> oh! oh no. That's a lot of sense. Weird being off the grid. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone missed their phone? No, not really. Have yeah. you? I'm dying. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch fire on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Make a new fire app. Yeah. Oh, what we do, we'll just live stream a fire. <laughs> yeah. But it's too heavy. I should the phone kick it. <laughs> just choke bones up. Oh, my ass. Then it looks like something out of fucking Call of Duty over there, doesn't it? What? Well, it's 1am. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what we've come to realise, guys, is, you know, trying to camp on £100 is doable, okay? So... Don't worry about, you know, having to spend loads and loads if you want to get out in the wild and, and enjoy yourself with friends, right? <laughs> what you need to be wary of is how to build a fire. Uh, and also, as you can see, oh. an axe is very oh, helpful. Yeah. Oh. Dry wood. <laughs> Dry wood. And you need a jimmy with an axe. Yeah. Look at this, ready? Yeah. Swipe. Oh. Skulls, this man's impaled. <laughs> That's it. Fucking magnificent. So fairly successful so far then? I'd say so. I mean, uh, the fire is the main achievement. That's the, the, fire is the only achievement. It's the main attraction, <laughs> isn't it? Well, uh, I'm uh, buzzing. I, I, can't, I hope this is coming across in the video because the amount of enjoyment we're getting out of this fire is just, exactly. look at look, just the whole process there. The Fucking HMRC. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the state. <laughs> Oh, they took Peggy Mitchell from me. <laughs> <laughs> what about no, just one yeah. massive one on that? You just like, yeah, go on. Then yeah. I just obliterate just it with it one fucking. Yeah. Go on then. Yeah. I'll get. I'll get tight. <laughs> the one hit challenge. Yeah. You ready? Here he goes. He's gonna break a bit off. Oh, no. Is <laughs> <laughs> he get? Fuck it. That did I. Look at the fire. Magnificent. Beautiful. Look at that. I'll tell you, know you what, fella, make you what beat you off. Oh, fuck it. What are we doing, by the way? Hmm? Just drinking. Oh, oh right, okay. Just drinking. Um, yeah. We're getting in. We're yeah, in the like fire. We're doing a thing. That's it. Three, two, one, at my. Up the Atma. Up the Atma. Up the <laughs> You cunt. Watch it on <laughs> <laughs> This is... This is a hot fire, isn't it? This is hot. This is more than a fire. I'm actually a bit concerned now. Because that is basically the core. Fuck <laughs> 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 my eyes! Fucking hell! The core. The world is going to be flat by the time we speak for that guy. It's going to fold in itself, and then I'll give him proof. And now I'm all alone. The weather is clear and the sky is blue. Oh, 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 
Oh, that was proper man. dirty. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Spain, man! It was cold, no. We all in our home. pants. It was so hot. <laughs> it's in the tent, like, I can't sleep, it's fucking burning. <laughs> we need an <it>. aircon. <laughs> well, we've sacrificed my chair. As you can see here. Sitting on the carpool, and we've been staring at the fire for 15 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we thought we'd liven things up by getting a full log on there. Please. See if the core can take down one of the best. <laughs> Tune back in a few hours to see whose tent is the first to go on. You might have heard that I was down with the blues, but I can't give you more. Chair. Yeah. Most definitely. I tried to be funny, but they were sold out. I was going to get an, infla uh, an inflatable lounger, oh, okay. but I got out of stock. That would have been good. Yeah. Yeah. I'd have got beers. Save it for tomorrow. I'd have got a few more. I'd have got. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I mean, toast. Look. Anyone? <laughs> we could have had breakfast with that. Oh, <laughs> no. no. Right, breakfast, right? Yeah, no, uh, yeah, my double mat I mean, was a mistake. Thing, I'm probably gonna have to, because because uh, I can't have that double mat just inflated fully. I laid on it earlier, and it's like I was being fucking eaten alive. So I might even have to fucking just um, yeah. deflate the whole thing anyway. Get on fire, mate. <laughs> Stick on the floor. Got a few regrets. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean, you've not even slept through yet. Yeah. yeah. I mean. I, I ain't got a mattress either, so might end up with the same, well I am the same boat as you, yeah. probably. Uh, sleeping bag, we'll have to see how that performs. Yeah. Do you know the funny thing is though, my problem is I've got too much mattress. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in the same boat. Probably lots. Probably. Yeah, um, I regret the amount that I invested in food and drink. It wasn't substantial enough. Yeah, mm. well, I mean, you didn't bring anything, so... I, will, I would have had Pringles, but even that would have been like, you know, I probably would have fucking eaten them in like 30 minutes. Yeah, so, so far. Yeah, that's a regret. Uh, what else? I didn't bring any <laughs> gloves. Yeah. But I've got my hand warmers, but based on the performance of Ben's ones, I'm not holding out too much hope for that. Mm. We, got the, we got the Dead Man's Fingers drinks. Uh, Some a bottle of Coke. Been nice. Even a, a bottle of Aldi Coke. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't it? Yeah, like definitely, that. definitely that, would have caught some out. That would have been one in budget. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I bought cutlery for three ninety nine. <laughs> no food. Didn't have any food. Why the fuck did I do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could have got a lot of food. Well, but if we, did, yeah. if we get attacked in the evening. That's yeah, yeah, weapon. that's true. Well, that's true. Fuck. You are weaponized, you know what I mean? Get taken down with a fucking spoon her eyes out. Yeah. If the geese comes out of a fork, you fucking, you're going to run away anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I think the best buy was the Kenzie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Saying so, without Jordan. If I, yeah, I mean, if I had to come out here on my own, yeah, I would definitely bring an axe. Bring an axe, yeah, yeah. actually. An axe, a bit of kindling. Not, you won't need a lot, just to get you started. Yeah. Find a big, a big lump of wood. <laughs> get your axe technique day. Yeah. Get your fire we'll get going. Get you Yeah, I mean, yeah, doing anything different. A chair, yeah, like you said, a chair. Yeah. Would be a fucking good idea. This, this, I mean, this. Because we keep on having to burn our chairs. Yeah, I mean, I've literally put two of my chairs in the fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah. Marshmallows. Marshmallows oh, yeah. would be nice. The heat off this fire oh. is intense. That the thing is as well. At the moment, I'm thinking 
there's a lot of heat off this fire, we're happy. Mm. When we get into bed and cold flames the window. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and know. and the condensation draws in. Yeah. Alright lads, it's been a late one. I think I'm gonna call it a night. And hope it don't freeze to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Hopefully. Or get See like, one in the morning. Molested by a ghost. See, I'd want that. See you on the other side. I'd, I'd want to get molested by a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> no it, it'll keep you warm, lads. As long as he's warm. No yeah, evidence, in it. <laughs> <laughs> one of those warm ghosts. We'll <laughs> uh, dub that to murder. Ah. <laughs> right. Good morning, boys. Good luck. Yeah. Good in the morning. Good luck. Good morning. Good night, lads. Remember the axe. Oh, yeah. Remember oh, yeah. the axe. Remember the axe. Take the axe. Take it. I think I've proved. So no one else. I've how you take a shit in the woods. <laughs> right now <laughs> I need to learn how you take a shit in the woods <laughs> oh man Mate, I actually don't know how the fuck you survive because no I had the worst sleep honestly Aussie mate you snore like a beast <laughs> even I was cold right and I was fucking triple yeah. layered yeah. oh yeah I got out at midnight for a piss. It was the most terrifying experience of my life. How are you doing, Lars? Fucking shit. I didn't really sleep that much, to be honest. Really? Nah. I looked out at three in the morning. I think we just sat up. Yeah. Over there, just doing something good in the way you're doing. Really? Yeah. I was on the phone. Oh. I don't even know what I was doing because there's no fucking signal. Well, as, as you all know, my sleeping arrangement was pretty shit. Even though I've got, I've got three layers on, I put a jumper on last night. Uh, my teeth were nattering for about 20 minutes because my sleeping bag's basically tin foil. Yeah, so my night was shit. I got about maximum an hour of sleep, maximum. I mean, it was cold. Yeah. It's, yeah. It just doesn't offer that much insulation, to be honest. <laughs> So, and emergency like a day, like five minutes maybe. Yeah, <laughs> if I was offered it on the roadside after a crash, I'd probably refuse it. It's that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, I've been there, done that. Fuck off. If it was still a light, I would actually come out here and sat and slept next to the fire last night. Yeah. yeah it was warmer next to the fire. I did come out here and think about it, to be honest, when I went for a piss last night at 3 o'clock. I, I, I thought, well, I'll be alright if it's this temperature for the rest of the night when we went to bed. But I remember I looked at my phone and it was like midnight and I was like, okay, it's brisk. That's fucking brisk. <laughs> that's, that's, that's uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I had to put my fucking, my gloves on at all points. Uh, gloves. What a luck for you. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't sleep an experience? Uh, grim. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, nothing on Loz. But I uh, woke up pretty much two hour intervals. Uh, 
very uncomfortable. The thing was, I had to deflate my double mattress, so I was sleeping on like a semi-deflated mattress. So actually, Lars, it would have been better if we had a bigger tent and then both slept on that thingy. But yeah. every time I woke up, there was like a clear, like couple degree temperature shift. Um, weird shit, like I slept on my side, slept on my side, then I slept on my back. And when I slept on my back, because I had to have my legs like that, my fucking knees when I woke up were frozen. So I was like, right, okay, keep as low to the ground as possible. Yeah, I, my shoulders are killing. Yeah. I could not get comfy. I couldn't, I can't sleep on my back. I'm just, I, I, don't, I think I'm in some sort of dip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I kind of slept with my shoulders up. Yeah. I just, I, I just, at any point I felt bad, I was like, this is nothing compared, compared <laughs> to Lozzy. So I was just like, <laughs> consider yourself lucky you've got a sleeping bag. Ah, uh, but yeah, that weren't great. Mm. But, oh, we man. made it through. We did. We kept, we, we, we completed the camping on a budget. Yeah. And we managed to make a decent fire again. The 100 pounds budget camping, wild camp experience, extravaganza challenge. Uh, we came out moderately unscathed. Lozzy, on the other hand, who's behind you, cannot wait to get the fuck out of here, I think. <laughs> but he definitely drew the short straw on some of his decisions. But I think we'll all learn from what we've uh, done this weekend. And I want to know down below in the comments, is there any challenges, budget challenges you'd like to see? Or is there any challenges, maybe not around a budget, that you want to see us do? We want to break the mold on what a podcast is this year. So just make some suggestions and if we think they're quality, we'll do it. Because I think at the end of the day, we want to make great content and we want to do sick shit. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this challenge, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.